Right, the cylinder head is off. All we've got to do now is basically take it to the um, the place that we're going to skim it, do whatever they do to it, and um, just do all that. Problem I've got is Emma's got the car. I suppose you want this free bike, don't you? To go over there well, on? Well, yeah. I suppose mm. so. Was it sent to you? Yeah. For free? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was sent to us. Uh, I'll stick it here for you, princess. Oh, go on, bring it out there. Go. Put it there. I suppose you've got to talk about it now, aren't you? And, you know, try and sell it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk about it and, you know. It's the bloody sales channel. <sighs> he does <sighs> Oh, talking of sales, look at these sunglasses. Lovely they are. Look at them. <laughs> Got them sent for nothing as well. Mm. Free. Company called Brio. Oh, they look lovely. Emma's got a pair as well. Have Nick Neils. Right, going back in the hole. Ta ta. Now, I don't want to go disappointing anyone who doesn't like the power bank videos because they were all moaning, you know, we're going to be doing a bike review next. <laughs> this is the bike review just for you because everyone's getting them. So I thought, why not? Just say yes. Um, but I thought, go big or go home. Right, what is it? Well, this is it. It's the Cy Russia XF900. Um, it's a bit of a monster. Full suspension on the back, full suspension on the front. It's got a horn on it, it's got lights on it. Dead comfortable seat. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, me being me, I've tinkered with it a little bit. Sorry, I just had to. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it as it was. But what have I done? The first thing I done was, it did have a little switch here for the, um, the throttle. Well, I took that off. If I put one of them on it, and twist it like a motorbike added a mount for the phone also behind the battery there there's a little regulator right now these bikes are only meant to do legally 15 mile an hour on the uk road that little regulator huh, it comes undone ours come undone and i put a switch on it just there so if we turn the switch on and we use a power the bike on, which is um, this little switch just here. So we've got speeds there. We can put that up to five to go on power. Now if I lift the back end of the bike up and um, pull, the, uh, pull the handle, you'll see that the speedo goes to 15 miles an hour. If I click the little switch and then lift the, uh, the back wheel up, It goes a little bit faster. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's on there. It nearly killed you. So you could say it goes a little bit. It's got seven gears on it. You can ride it without the battery. You don't need to ride it on the battery. And I also bought a little bag as well. Um, Alex Rude did do some videos on these. I'll link them up in the uh, top corner there. You can go and watch them at your own free will. They're quite funny. He's done typical Alex. So, well worth a watch. But what we're going to do is we're going to strap the cylinder head to the back of the bike and we're going to go from Liverpool over to Birkenhead on the Mersey Ferry on the bike at 30 miles an hour. So, let's strap the cylinder head to the back of there, lob a safety hat on and um, go from there. I've got the cylinder head strapped to the back of the bike. Let's get down to the ferry terminal in Liverpool and get the ferry across the Mersey. Should be interesting, rush hour traffic. Hmm, let's give this bike a go. Well, I've got to be honest with you, I'm, um, I'm a bit too small for this bike. We saw the Tesla behind me there. Yeah. I'm electric too, mate. Oh, come on, focus. Put your foot down. Places to go. There we go. 
And there's the ferries. Well, we made it. I've never been on the Mersey Ferry before, ever. So this will be a first for me. Morning. And that's us on the ferry. So you got the Liver Buildings there, you got the um, Echo Arena, which is literally just down there. Got the new museum there. All sorts going on. Got a cruise ship in, the Norwegian Dawn. And loads of hotels and there you go. That's where you get the ferry for the Isle of Man as well. Birkenhead, Wallasey, the Whittle, that side. And then this side, Liverpool. Right, we made it. Here's the engineering parts. The head's gone in there, they're gonna skim it. Um, do whatever they do, they're going to do some valve stuff and I don't know, they're just going to make it look posh, make it look fancy and make it um, hopefully work again. We're also getting the the full kit, like the, what's it called? Help me out, scream in the comment section, it's called the, um, hmm, the head gasket kit, there we go, they're doing the head gasket kit for us. Um, and everything else we need to put it back in, like the bolts and things like that. So we've got 20 minutes before the boat goes back out again, and um, we can we can get back to Liverpool. So on the bike, let's go. So Andy's going to fit gas to the bike, so we can make it go faster. That's the plan. Hi Neil. Best gas man in the world. Flying. You need gas. Flying. Second best. Right, let's take a little bit of a dive into the bike itself and what it's got. It's got a 900 watt motor, which has got probably a, a peak output of about 1200 on big hills, things like that. It's got disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. They claim it will go for 62 miles. Now, to be fair, I have done a little bit of a modification on it. Oh, I, uh... You all right? Can I have a go on the bike? I got rid of you. No, still here. Can I have a go? I want to go on the bike. What are you doing? I want to go on the bike. Well, you can have a go on the bike in a minute, can't oh. you? Just sit down and just be quiet. Okay. And let me talk about the bike. <sighs> right. So, hydraulic bikes front and back. It's also got seven gears on the bike itself. So you don't need to actually have the power on the bike. You can just use the Shimano gears on the bike and they can go from there. It's good though, isn't it? Brilliant, isn't mm. it? It's absolutely fantastic. Got lights on it as well. Absolutely great. Love them. Front and back. Oh. Yeah, that's really good. The fact that it's got built-in lights and a built-in horn as well. Also, when you brake, the light comes on the back. Yeah, true. And the actual lights on the rear, when you press your brakes, they will, they'll light up. So Just people know that. behind you that you are stopping, which is kind of good. It's it brilliant. is designed for people above five foot seven. <laughs> not us, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's not, no. Yeah, we're a bit taller, aren't we, mate? Lies. Yeah, well, I am anyway. Anyway, so five foot seven it's to huge. about six foot six. That's what they say, the, mm. the height. Probably we all I struggle getting on it. Um, it's got full suspension, front and back. It's a really comfortable ride. I haven't had a go yet. And in general, it's a good bike. We've Thanks. had loads of fun on it. And um, well, I want to go to the bike. Just carry on. Yes. Yeah. You can have go. A go. Do you want me to carry on talking? You just want to go. Oh, just wait for this. I am an excellent bike rider. Okay. Right. Well, I think it's time to let Nelly have a go on the bike and see what he thinks of it. Right. It's my turn to have a go. Wait until you see me ride this. Oh, do you know what? Riding. It's just, just like a fish in water. I can ride anything. Doesn't matter how big it is. Once I get it between my legs, I'm off. I'm telling you. Love it. It's a lovely saddle, this. What are you doing? Lovely. Thick as well. What? Mm, I do love a thick saddle. Right. So I'm going to show you how you ride the oh, bike. Yeah. Of course. 
Don't fall off. I'm going to fall off, stupid man. As if. Do I look Say stupid? Nothing. I think I've never ridden a bike before. No. Right, so. Also, it comes with two years warranty as well. Mm. Two, two years warranty. It does, it does. Wonderful. Right, okay, off I go. You're waiting, I'm watch. watching. I'm telling you. I'm good at this. It's a bit big, isn't it? That's what she said. I'm just about touched the floor. He's gonna fall off. Nice, just twist it and go. It didn't go when it you didn't turn it on. Purpose to make me look stupid from the people. Turn it on. Shove your bike up your ass. I think I'll ride it. Oh, it doesn't seem to have any problem going through thick grass or off road or. Now we can basically plough through whatever we like. Just got to watch for the nettles. It's there. A little bit stingy. No problem driving through, you know, stuff like this at all. It's a beautiful day for a bike ride. So, no issues at all on the bike. It goes through whatever, really. It does go faster on the flat, I'll say that much. So, if you are interested in one of these bikes or any of the other bikes, because they do... That's the horn. They do all sorts. There's all sorts of bikes in the range. The links will be in the description below. That will take you directly to the website where you can go and have a look. It's not an affiliate link and nothing like that. Just go and check them out. So if you are interested in them, big, bulky, durable, speedy beast. That's what I'm calling it. So the next thing we've got to do is um, go and get some more parts of the van, wait for the, um, the head to be skimmed, and then put it all back together. And then stop... Um, being vanless to be honest so probably another week or so i reckon before we start putting the van back together and um, obviously if you're on instagram you're going to find out more so if you want to um follow us on instagram that's the um link there it's always in the description as well if you want to go and check us out on instagram there's more daily updates on there it's a bit more fun as well it's a bit less serious not that this is serious whatsoever but anyway right going Go on the bike ride, um, let off some steam, and I've got to go and pick some parts up for the van. So, off we go on the bike. Whatever you do, do it well. Don't forget, links in the description for the bike company. Go and check them out. See you soon. <laughs>